What's shaking, baby? Here we are, episode one of the Blue Podcast. It is currently uh, Thursday, April 13th at 4.40 p.m. I am on my uh, 30-minute break from Nationwide Insurance. Uh, today I was thinking about how Nationwide is like uh, like when the Beatles... If anyone's read uh, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, the Beatles... I mean, okay, he wasn't the only person to know this, but like he done told us all about it, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the Beatles, Hamburg. So this is what happened. The Beatles went off to Germany to play a bunch of shows. And these heifer twomblers were up on stage for like eight hours a night for like 256 or seven nights. And when they came back, they did that, divvy that up by like three. So it was like 75 or 80. Well, that was pretty good math. It was like 82 or 83 nights, three separate times, which totaled that like 260 or whatever, 250. And they played for like eight hours a night. And then when they came back to Manchester or Britain, London, the United Kingdom, I, dude, I, what's the difference between Britain, London, the United Kingdom, and like, where is Ireland? You know what I'm saying? Does anyone else think about that? Like people say, I crossed the pond and it's like, but where did you go? The United Kingdom. Well, what is that? And what was Brexit? And what were they exiting? And who was Brett? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, Beatles come back and then they're like really good. And I was thinking today how like I'm pent up in this apartment, hashtag 57W9 apartment number three. I've been pent up here for like hours a day for weeks on end. But the beauty of that is like, this is like my Hamburg. And so then, then I'd start thinking about like, why well, ought to document it? And my dad always tells me to journal, but I never, I don't know if that was my stomach or my intestines or if you guys heard that. But I haven't ate all day. I haven't been eating recently, man. Like, I had some blueberries. Dude, frozen blueberries are the... the I mean, they're the bee's knees, fundamentally. If, if a bee were to have kneecaps, it would be the frozen blueberry. And I have some coffee. Dude, one day there's going to be a beverage at all coffee shops around the world called the Blue Adana. And it's going to be like... It's probably just going to be black coffee. Like, super, super thick black coffee kind of like tar with some espresso and just a ton of milk and it's gonna be pretty watered down and no one's gonna buy it except for me but then i can just walk into any coffee shop and be like i'll have a blue adana dude that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna start asking people for it because they're gonna be like like it sounds like a beverage the blue adana hey i'll have the blue adana and then they're like what's that and i'm like just this is how you make it you should put it on your menu and then they'll be like I'll come back a year later and they'll be like, this was the most unpopular product we've ever had. No one buys this. No one knows what it is. And the few people who do get it, uh, just spit it out. Like, how do you drink this? I'll be like, I have it every morning, dude. Just watered down, lukewarm coffee with so much milk in it that you don't even remember that it's coffee. I digress. I was talking about journaling. As you can tell, I like need social interaction, dude. I'm talking at like 5 billion words a minute. Um, the only social interaction I get is either with uh, people on the phone. Last night, I went to my friend Nick Livingston's house. Shout out, Nicky Liv, N-C-K-Y-L-V. This man, dude, let me tell you something about this guy, all right? We just start walking around his neighborhood, all right? And he's like, hey, dude, I got some demos to show you. I'm always pumped. Who doesn't love hearing a Nicky Liv demo? I do. And then this man's, he, he plays me like, we hit number like 12, and I'm about to pass out because they're so good, dude. And I'm like, don't show them to Nisark. Otherwise, we may never see him again. And then I asked him, how many do you have on that one? Like when you bounce your logic projects out, they go into this folder on Apple Music. And he was just scrolling through it. And he was like, I have like 43. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? That's insane. And so the thing that I took from that. So shout out, Nikki Liv. Love you. See you soon. Uh, best friend probably the only person other than me and my fiance who will listen to this. That's the other person I talk to a lot is, uh, Anne. She is my fiance and, uh, we have two cats, Cosmo and Elaine, and we sing them songs. I will sing you one song right now. <clears throat> He's a real big boy, big boy. She's a real sweet girl, sweet girl. He's a real big boy, big boy. She's a real sweet girl, sweet girl. 
Yes. If this ever gets out into the world, I'm screwed, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, Nick. Um, oh, dude, dude, what's nuts? So this will be the point of the whole podcast is for me to document because it's like I'm in my Hamburg. I wanted the Beatles to document and didn't want to make a journal. And so I started making the podcast. And then with Nick is like, he had so many great demos and you can never see how great like you are unless you see it from the outside. You get what I'm saying? And this man played me like banger after banger after banger. And I was like, dude, are you, are you Nikki live? Are you like the greatest rap producer ever? And then he was like, well, yeah, but I see the same thing in you. And I was like, well, I guess like not really, but then I, like you can't discredit it because if, if you compliment someone and then they're like, no, it's like, well, you don't get to say no because I'm the one giving it. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, point of this podcast is, uh, for me to just throw up verbally about my day and, uh, give you a bit of an update on where things are musically. First song comes out May 5th, a cold alliance hashtag, you know, what's up hashtag the blue Adana hashtag debut single hashtag Cinco de Mayonnaise. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I think I've been going for like six minutes. That's probably long enough, dude. Oh, song of the week, song of the day. Well, it's going to come out every Tuesday, Thursday. So, sorry, man. I'm like burping here. Uh, song of the day is called Faith. It's by The Weeknd. Dude, you got to watch this live performance on YouTube. Dude's got all these lights blaring. And uh, I won't tell you what happens at the end. But, dude, the song is just incredible. And somehow they record him and... Like, I know that there's processing on his vocals. I don't know how they do that, but it was nuts, dude. Um, it's like, it made the song so much better. And it makes you think, like, I'll get into that later, but, like, branding and promotion. Like, if you ask me, like, how to promote things, I'm like, I don't know what that means. But if it's like, hey, make a, a podcast about your songs, I can do that. Hey, explain to people everything you know about Logic. I can do that, too. Dude, as I'm doing this, the light... I'm, the thing is, is if I tell you guys I'm doing something, I'm the only person who can see it. But like, I'm putting my hand up as I'm talking, and I can see the shadow on the wall, and it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, go listen to Faith by The Weeknd. Check it out on YouTube. There's this live version of it. A Cold Alliance comes out May 5th, and I feel like there was one other thing. Oh, I'm currently also scoring the Bible, as well as releasing like a 57-song mixtape, or recording and then eventually releasing a 57 song mixtape but right now we are in the middle of leviticus in case anyone was wondering or in case anyone wants to read the bible um yeah i read like 13 or 14 or 15 chapters today it was pretty awesome but as always um i will talk to you next tuesday thank you for joining in shout out nikki live shout out nisarg vadya and uh do your homework <laughs>